So the next type of, say, graphical representation of data we're going to look at, so basically the next graph, is going to be a bar chart. So bar charts are really good for comparing two or more things. So examples of uh, things they could ask you to compare in an exam would be boys versus girls, old per people versus young people, um, say different years, if it's looking at kind of how much rainfall, uh, how much money the country made, how much money a business made, stuff like that. Um, so comparing different things, bar charts are really good at showing uh, the difference. So we're going to look at kind of a just a standard, really boring example um, of how to draw a bar chart. So it's the people were asked about their favorite genre of movie, and five boys said comedy, five of them, seven of them said action, three said romance, and four said sci-fi. And then for the girls, five said comedy, three said action, eight said romance, and one said sci-fi. So you're asked to. Sometimes they might just give you this, and they might ask you to. Um, represent it on some sort of graph and they won't give you a hint and you should see that it's boys and girls so it should be a bar chart is probably the best one uh, to represent this so uh, in this case i have the kind of the axis already drawn out but that's it so you have to figure out what to put on the axis um, and how to draw this this bar chart so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to look at the highest um amount or the highest number in this chart so i'm going to put that on the y-axis and um, so on the y-axis is always the amount um, in a bar chart. So in this case, eight is the highest. So I'm going to rank it from two, four, six, eight, ten. We'll say two, four, six. I'll just leave it at eight. We don't need to go the whole way up to ten. So that's on the y axis. Two, four, six, and eight. So the next thing to do is to figure out what to put on the x axis. So the way you do it is you write, say there's, these are called the different categories, we'll call them, comedy, action, romance, or sci-fi, I guess genre would be better. Um, so you put each of these kind of one, two, three, four, like that, okay? So I'll just write those out quickly. So there, I just scribble them out at the bottom. Uh, it doesn't matter what order they go in, really. Uh, it just matters that you have a little bit of space in between them so you can draw the bar charts. So next is you actually have to draw, I guess, the bar chart itself. Um, and the question is how best to do this. So what you do is, is say I'll, I'll do it roughly just in green. So you're going to draw the boys and the girls right beside each other next to each genre. So for example, comedy uh, for boys and girls is both at five. And the idea is you color one of them in a different color than the other. So we'll color this one in purple and then this one in green. And then you leave a key at the side. So you say, let's say green is boys and then we'll say that purple is girls and so then you can continue like that for the rest of the of the bar chart and you can draw the two bars and it can it's really easy to see um, the difference between boys and girls for each for each type of movie so I'm actually just gonna keep keep going like this I'm gonna draw a messy one because uh, really just to show you the idea I'm not gonna draw a super accurate one so the next one will continue with uh, green so the next one is going to be action. So let's we'll say seven boys like action movies. Going to go up to about there, and then only three girls like action movies. So then we're going to go up to about there. We'll color the green one in now, and I'll color the purple in later when I change color of pen. Romance then eight girls liked romance. So it's going to go up a little bit higher in the action, and only three boys like the romance. And it doesn't matter how that they should all be the same skinniness. But obviously I'm just doing this freehand, so it's not super accurate. Um, it's only the height that matters though. Then four boys liked sci-fi and then only one girl liked sci-fi. So I'll just color these in. Green and green and then purple and purple. So that's basically how to draw a bar chart. So it's really easy when someone kind of leads you through it and tells you you have to draw a bar chart. The most difficult bit is looking at this table of data and saying, okay, what am I supposed to do with it? How am I supposed to draw the bar chart? So you should just, the most important thing to know is bar charts are good for comparing two or more things. Look out for boys and girls for different years comparing them. Um, yeah, and then just quickly how to draw it. They're, they're not too difficult. So that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with friends if you found it useful. Uh, and next video, we're going to start looking at stem and leaf diagrams. So we're just going to have one or two videos on those um, and then we can continue. Okay, thanks for watching again. See you next time.